piece of audio that we lifted from a men's gathering of a few years ago. And this is the senior pastor who you heard yesterday on the program. He has a new book out on blessing, Generation Blessing. His name is Bishop Ken Omer. And near the end, the worship leader is a man named Joel Bodker. And I do pray this blesses you. Maybe at the end, you'd like to call in and share your experience of what happened when you heard this. But again, this is Bishop Ken Omer. My testimony is short, but God. God has brought us from all over Southern California. I speak into your spirit a desperation for the power of the living God. I ask God to shift this atmosphere. I ask God to change the, 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 the environment of this house. God to, to release his presence and his glory and as we inhale the power of the living God he speaks life he, he speaks life to the dead stuff in your life dead marriages, dead careers, dead minds, dead spirits. He speaks life. He, he weaves the deadness into the power of his life-giving love. And he says, you shall not die, you shall live. It is in him that we live and move and have our being. It is in him that we exist from here to there. This, this is the air. It's him. It's the atmosphere. It's him. We breathe and the anointed atmosphere of his glory we inhale in the presence of his power
Bishop Ken Omer and um, worship leader from the Dream Center, local here in Los Angeles, a man named Joel Bodker. I'm reminded of conversations I've had with non-believers recently. And we've got a couple of stories about atheism and atheists and their protests and putting up billboards. And the, the, the one thing that they will never understand because a lot of the interaction I've had is this intellectual joust back and forth. Well, this person says this, and what about that person? And the, 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 the intention to try to comprehend who God is, is wasted energy. You'll never know who God is until you surrender to him through his son, Jesus Christ. Never. And there may be one of you listening right now. You, you don't understand that there is a Holy Spirit that will indwell in you when you surrender to God and ask him to take your life and to forgive your sins. We call it sanctification. That's when the sanctification process begins and the transformation. It comes by the power of the Holy Spirit, not by you, not by me. But yet, this is it. <laughs> Are you lost without him? Are you desperate for him? Amen. Not today. Doesn't make sense to me, that Bible? No, uh-uh. I'm going to listen to others. Other people that are the experts. And, and pursue that quest with an intellectual prowess instead of surrendering and just saying, I don't know. And invite him into your life. If, if you really are truly God, I, I, I ask that you make yourself known in my life. With a sincerity, with an honesty. Right? Galatians, I think it's 522, talks about the fruit of the Spirit. Those of us that are Christians, we hear it. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. What else is there? Goodness, faithfulness. Self-control is a big one. Gentleness. Qualities that reflect the character of Christ. That, that isn't something that we can do. That's what the Holy Spirit does with us. Romans 8, 12 through 13. Therefore, dear brothers and sisters, you have no obligation to do what your sinful nature urges you to do. For if you live life by its dictates, you will die. But if through the power of the Spirit you put to death the deeds of your sinful nature, you will live. Person who doesn't believe God is real, or somehow you're trying to figure it out, or I don't believe the Bible. We know as followers of Jesus, we can't do this. That's why the Bible says the, the cross is folly to non-believers. You'll never get it. I didn't get it. I was 54. It, it was almost like convince me. Like, like, okay, Christian, give it your best shot. Tell me why I should become a follower of Jesus. And some of us go, well, I know I'm supposed to evangelize. I know the Great Commission. And, oh, my goodness, I don't want that person to. Thanks, you guys, for watching. Um, this is on the Frank Sontag Show live on 99.5 KKLA every day at 3 p.m. And, um... Frank Sontag is having a Kingdom Men's gather Gathering at Bishop Omer's uh, Church in Inglewood. Faithful Central Bible Church, I believe it is, off Florence. Kind of by, uh, off uh, La Brea. Anyways, uh, he always plays this audio clip from one of his last men's gatherings. And it's, it's powerful and moving. And you can't find it anywhere. And he mentioned that right now. So I busted out my camera and recorded it. But uh, powerful stuff. Tune in uh, to his radio show daily. You will be blessed and encouraged whether if you're a Christian or not, okay? God bless you guys. Love you. Thank you.